we have the Long Acre. Are you serious? Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we just found out we're pregnant. <laughs> no. It's really weird. We're having, a baby. <laughs> we're having a baby. In his 70s, he's suddenly become a social media superstar. Now in a Broadway play this fall, he'll tell a true and very personal story from America's not-so-distant past. I was a kid in the Arkansas camp. Yeah. I went to school in one of these tar paper barracks. Mm -hmm. You know, I could see the barbed wire fence and the sentry tower with the machine guns pointed at us right outside my schoolhouse window. The most typical objection was it will be too sad or depressing or a turnoff for audiences. Everybody's nervous. Frankly, there's an awful lot riding on the whole show for everyone. The cruel truth of trying to succeed on Broadway. You have to sell a thousand seats a night. There have to be enough people that don't just simply say it was a good show. They actually just loved your show. We're not taking chances in as an artistic team anymore. We, we're not trusting our gut. No, at this moment, the marketing is not working. I feel like we could really pull this off. But I'm, I'm really terrified too, I'm really terrified.